hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i took a piece of cardboard and i started to draw the doll on it uh, but if you don't know how to draw it it's so easy it's not a difficult thing you can just bring out the print from internet or you can take the barbie doll uh, from any magazine you can cut it and then place it over the cardboard then start to cut it accordingly so it's not a problem or it's not a big deal to This is how I cut it. Now I will draw another style of doll on another piece of cardboard and I will cut it. These are so simple to make. It's not difficult. There is no need to use fabric or uh, much more stuff like my previous videos. Um, but in upcoming videos, I'm going to make some more beautiful styles of dolls. So stay tuned and keep watching. Here I am done with the two styles of dolls. And then let's start the rest of the things. Okay, today here I'm using a uh, newspaper instead of foil because some people were saying that uh, foil is not a recycled material as I was giving the title to my videos, recycled materials, dolls or something like this. So um, I decided to use today newspaper to show them that it's not a big deal if you use newspaper even. The main thing is that you are crafting and you are enjoying your work. So I applied the hot glue on the piece of cardboard. Then I started to stick the newspaper by twisting it. It was a little bit challenging to do this uh, twisting the newspaper. It was not as easy as the foil because foil wherever you fold it, it will hold the shape. But for newspaper, you have to keep holding it until it sticks properly. So for me, it was much easier to use uh, foil, even for everyone, whoever wants to do this stuff. Foil is much easier, but if somebody cannot afford and they don't have uh, that kind of stuff, it's uh, fine to use newspaper even. So the main thing to use newspaper or foil on these parts is to make her arms and her legs prominent instead of her dress so make sure whatever you are using foil or newspaper make her leg the one is going up this side and the one on which she is standing it has to be a uh, popped up or 3d type not flat because it has to be prominent and the rest of the cardboard i will just apply the tissues to make her dress just we need to make the leg, arms, head uh, prominent with the foil or with newspaper. And then I start to do other leg by using the newspaper as well. 
and if you are new to my channel it's really really great to have you here thank you so much for your support keep watching keep subscribing and don't forget to click on bell icon to get the notifications so here i have made both of them and this is i took the cardboard piece only for her dress not complete doll this is the second piece of cardboard of her dress shape i will stick it from the top with paper tape or masking tape or whatever tape you have just stick them then you will see the next step what we are going to do because i want her dress to be a little wider and the reason to do it is just that she can stand on it so this is how it looks like you place it from top and it's opening like this then i will cut some pieces of cardboard to stick it on her feet part i will stick two pieces of cardboard together and it's up to you what how much wider you want her feet uh, i mean the standing part to be like this whatever size you want you can cut the cardboard according to the size you want for me this much uh, width is enough on this size of width she can easily stand like this stick them this is how it looks like now this piece of cardboard i stick it just for her standing position and here on this part we will use this heavy stone i will stick it inside look like this it's going to fell but when you place a stone inside it standing easily and it became very heavy because of the weight of stone so i will apply the hot glue and then i will stick it in this way it's much easier and she will hold the shape and standing position and in the same way i have cut the half dress of the other doll as well and the same procedure i will stick it from the top with the paper tape and bottom i will apply the cardboard and then inside also i will place the piece of stone here uh, the stone was wider than uh, the cardboard shape so i will place it in other style this is how it looks like now with the weight of uh, stones here you can see and you can see easily the shape of cardboards i used the reason to use them like this just because i want them to stand properly now the front and the back part which is opened like this triangle shape we will cover it with the paper tape here i have again my homemade glue paste and the link i will put it in description box of the video and then i will use the tissues to cover it the reason to do it just to secure the cardboard and each part together here they are dry now all sides i have covered and now i will use the uh, clay on her head part and on some of her body parts as well to make her legs and her back prominent more in the popping style and this clay I
think it was written on it molding clay some people said molding clay never dries but i don't know why they, it was written on it but uh, today i asked the man and he said this is actually air dry clay so it doesn't matter whatever clay you are using See on this part which is flat, only cardboard, I will use the clay and I will use clay on her more parts of the leg and back to make them prominent more, to define them properly than to be having a flat surface. Here I have my white glue and the ceramic powder. Uh, it's actually kind of plaster of Paris. You can use plaster of Paris, of course, if you don't have ceramic powder. I have made a thick paste and now I will apply it on her dress. Then I will give it a texture. The reason to use it is just to give some texture to her dress. If you want, you can use even the fabric. But uh, I want to work a little bit differently today, so I use uh, this uh, texture paste. And then I will use pencil or knife or even my fingers to give some style to her dress, the flares. Here I'm using fingers to define her dress more, to give it more texture. So it's dry almost the uh, paste. Now I will use this uh, blue color acrylic paint to color her dress. I will color all her dress from all sides with this blue and then I will draw the paint on her blouse as well. It's up to you whatever style or design you want to draw for her dress shape by using color. Here I have black acrylic paint which I will use at the bottom of her dress just to give some design a little bit water to spread and to blend the black color properly And here I forgot actually to make her hair. I'm making the clay bun, which I will stick on top of her head. And her body parts, which are prominent, and her hairs, all I will color them with the silver paint. You can use spray paint or acrylic paint, doesn't matter. Or you can use even the body color ribbon if you want. And here we are done. I hope you like the video. You can use the colors of your choice if you want. And there are many more ideas in my mind to make the dolls. And some people were requesting me to make some characters as well. So, yes, I am going to make some characters as well. So, stay tuned, keep watching, keep supporting. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments and encouragement. It's really appreciated. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.